and his husband, William Zulocker, being charged for child sex crimes. The Walton County Sheriff's Office raided their home on St. Regis Way in Oxford and found that both men were engaging in sexually abusive acts and videotaping it with their adopted sibling children. The two children were taken out of harm's way. Police saying that material was being downloaded, which was discovered during a search warrant in unincorporated Loganville. Look, I got people behind me. There's William and me. Shocker. Two gay married adoptive fathers not only were SIing the two boys they had adopted, but also selling them out to a pedo ring. Come join me in the murder she shed for this really disturbing true crime case. My name is Holly. Although I am not in my she shed, as you can tell, I'm in my house because it was cold out there and there's a warm fire here and my dogs are happy I'm in here. Here's Max, Simon, and Buddy's over here where you can't see them. They're all surrounding me and I love being with them and I'm on Simon's couch so therefore Simon is here and he hears me say his name yes but first before we begin i must give a warning this does contain discussions of si to children so viewer discretion is advised also the crimes of the suspects are only alleged at this time william zulock 32 and zachary zulock 35 started dating in the summer 2013 and were married in 2016. Then in 2019, they fostered two brothers. Seven months after the boys moved in on March 30th, 2019, Georgia's courts made the Forever Family official on November 7th, 2019. The couple called it Gotcha Day, which, in, after you hear the details, is quite disturbing. The Zulux adopted the boys from a Christian agency for special needs children. The brothers came from a broken home where their biological parents were addicted to H-E-R-O-I-N. William and Zachary preyed on the children's vulnerability. William on his Instagram wrote that they have loved every minute as parents, but it was rough at first. Zachary's Instagram describing him as an activist and papa to our two amazing sons. William was a government worker and Zachary was a banker. He was a branch coordinator at the SunTrust Bank in Duluth, and they lived in a large house in an affluent suburb of Atlanta, Georgia, with their two adopted boys who were said to have been in third and fourth grade and are ages 9 and 11. They moved into the large house about a year after they adopted the boys and seemed to live a very lavish lifestyle. On social media sites, they put up a perfect front of being proud dads with a happy marriage. Underneath this front is a very dark side that was found out from reports sent to the Walters County Sheriff's Office that someone in Oxford was downloading illicit footage of child abuse. While probing the allegations, officials noted that the footage being downloaded had supposedly been produced by William and Zachary Zulock. William and Zachary were accused of producing the footage in question, which were videos of them abusing their own adopted sons and distributing the illegal videos to a number of individuals. Somehow the couple were raking in $7,500 a week considering their current jobs would most likely not bring in that amount of money. Were they bringing in additional income from pimping their children out and selling their videos? They reportedly distributed the clips to 27-year-old Hunter Clay Lawless and Armando Vizcaro Sanquez, two of several men implicated in the alleged child abuse ring. Hunter Clay Lawless claimed that while he never directly engaged in assaulting the children, Zachary would urge him to watch the abuse while also frequently sending him pictures of him doing things to his own boys. Hours before the Zulocks were arrested on July 27th, Lawless was apprehended earlier in the day by Walton County detectives on a warrant for felony sexual exploitation of children. After downloading child images of the older Zulock boy, Lawless snitched on the couple in order to reduce his sentence. Lawless allegedly met Zachary through a mutual contact named Blake on Grinder, and Zachary started sending him disturbing messages on Snapchat. Zachary would send him images of him assaulting his sons. 
Lawless, the son of a hairstylist who lives with his mother, was quickly released two days after his arrest and has been out on a 25000 bond since July 29. The Zulok Mansion turned house of horrors, had surveillance cameras installed in every square foot of the property. There is also a secret windowless room the size of a closet without any doors hidden behind a movable bookcase in the home office. My mind can't even go to what that could have even been used for. Another creepy interior room devoid of windows was purportedly used as a home theater in which they probably watched their disturbing videos. Zachary was said to be the cameraman of the videos that were produced and distributed. On his cell phone was a folder called Us, which stored videos of his husband, William, essaying their older son. The older sibling was injured due to the R.A.P.E. The little boy was injured because of what his own father did to him. Guys, I know we hear a lot of cases of child abuse, and our ears get immune to what we're hearing, and we don't think as deeply about it. But I'm telling you, what these kids went through, what our kids went through, should break our heart. Allegedly, the couple told the brothers, our business is our business. What happens in our home stays in our home. The couple started essaying the boys in 2019, less than a year after they were adopted. Beyond the child sexual abuse as punishment during after school hours, the Zulak boys were forced to stand in a corner for eight hours straight over back-to-back -back days, only being allowed to move to either eat or use the bathroom. William was also witnessed slapping their younger son hard in the face. Zachary had contacted a few out-of-state Facebook friends to reconnect after getting the boys. The couple also took an excessive amount of family trips, staying in a number of Airbnbs across America. What were they doing traveling all over with these boys? Were they just simple vacations, or was there more to this? More than a decade ago, there was a 2011 probe into Zachary's alleged pedophilic behavior when he was accused of luring a 14-year-old boy to a residence in Walton County and essaying the young victim. But the 2011 child RAPE case was shut down and no charges were pursued against Zachary. I suppose because no charges were pursued against him, he was able to adopt two boys seven years later. On Zachary's Instagram post, he posted a picture of him and William with hashtag partners in crime. October 5th of 2021, Zachary discussed with an agency about wanting to adopt a little girl. But fortunately for the little girl, the agency that they adopted the brothers from had shut down. Zachary told a relative from prison that another inmate had spiked his drink and he suffered stroke-like symptoms. I'm not sure how he was able to get a phone in prison, but he texts that he was then later threatened and would be beat up for snitching. Zachary initially blamed William for starting the child as the actual abuse of the Zulok boys, but William pointed the finger back at him. William even denied knowing Wallace. Since the Zulocks have been taken into custody, the married men's assets have been seized. Their vehicles have been forfeited and their home is now the property of the state with a lien filed against it. Zachary and William, according to a relative, seem more worried about the loss of their house than the children. That same relative has made contact with William on the phone and said that William started discussing the night of their arrest. William stated they came in 11.30 at night. I was asleep. Zach was asleep. They were going to bust down our door if Zach didn't open the door. William added that he sat stark naked in the back seat of the patrol car until approximately 4 a.m. the following morning while they searched our house for God knows what. He discussed the bruise on Zachary's mug shot being from authorities slamming him against the floor in the foyer when he was arrested. Who really cares? That's the least they deserve. The couple are facing charges of felony sexual exploitation of children, aggravated child molestation, felony prostitution of a minor, aggravated sodomy and incest, amounting to possibly nine life sentences. Included in the evidence collected by law enforcement are 149 images, a text message from Lawless, a Snapchat letter, and sexual assault nurse examination results conducted on the children. The couple are due back in court for a motion hearing on February 1st. They have both pled not guilty. His poor little brothers that were abused by these monsters now have to try to heal from what they were put through, both physically and mentally. And I pray for their complete healing. 
They are now back in the foster system, and I pray to God they do better finding these kids a home than they did the first time. These child cases are so heartbreaking, and there has been far too many lately. By the way, their cat looks terrified in this picture. Oh, poor cat. All right, guys, I hate leaving y'all with such a sad ending, but unfortunately, that is often what happens when you tell true crime stories. I will leave you some bloopers, though. Okay, make someone smile this week. You never know. They may have really needed that moment. I love y'all, and I hope y'all have a blessed week. And here's me and Simon bloopers. Bye. I'm on Simon's couch, so I don't know how this is going to go. Simon is the king on this couch. For felony S expo- exploitation. Shit. For eight hours straight. I know y'all can hear him breathing. The 2011 probe into Zachary's alleged pedophilic behavior. Really? Dude. I'm paying attention to you. I'm paying attention to you. I know, I know. You're still breathing in my mind. I can hear you very loudly. He's not cooperating as usual. Don't be a little prat. Don't be a little prat. On October 5th, and he's going to move. On October 5th of 2021, Zachary discussed with an... You're breathing. (laughs) Oh my goodness, you little prat. Could you be nice like the other two? (laughs) No, look at them. Look at the other dude. They're sleeping real nicely. Didn't you be nice with them? Their vehicles, the vehicles, their vehicles. Oh my God, dang it. That same relative, that same, oh God, dang it. An aggravated child molestation, felony, pros, can I say this on you, prostitution? I hope I can. I just did. I'm never sure exactly what I can say. Message from Wallace. Lawless. Love y'all. Bye. Success, I'm not to take the lie. Tell me what's wrong, why you hurt him.